Split views inside of Arc are extremely useful because they let you place tabs side by side in a single view. This, as you can probably imagine, beats the heck out of switching back and forth, back and forth between tabs you're using often. Let's go ahead and create some. Back to our cat example, let's say we're researching cute kitten names and we want to take notes. We could open a new tab, take notes, and keep switching back and forth between the article and the note, but it'd be better to have them side by side. To do this, hover over the three dots on the top right and click add right split. We can also hit control shift equal sign. You'll see control shift pop up a lot. So just keep in mind that control shift typically means we're doing an action revolving around a split view. I'll go ahead and click this and the URL pops up. We can type in anything here naturally, but I have my first pet in my recent, so I will click that and there we go. The split view is created. Another option we have is using Arc's built-in notes. If you hit control option and N for note, we open up an Arc note in a split view. This is a little more bare bones in Google Docs, but honestly, it has decent formatting options, pretty much everything I need, and I use it pretty often. But since Google Docs are more popular, we're gonna go ahead and switch back to that. Opening up the sidebar here, we see that the split view is treated pretty much the same as any other tab, but there's two tabs here instead of one. If I right click it, I can give it a different name. So we'll say pet research and we can give it an icon. Customization, gotta love it. From here, we can add it to the pin tabs or we can add it to the favorite tabs. Basically, it's like any other tab. There's a dividing line here. So if we want to make the notes a little bit smaller for reading, there we go. We can do that. Just click and drag on the center line. Now, there are a few other ways to create a split view. If we hold down command and click on multiple tabs, we'll be able to highlight them and then we can right click and open split view and it will open them all at once in a split view, one by one by one. Another way to open a split view is by holding down option and clicking on any link. Let's find a random link here, hold down option, click it, and it opens in the split view automatically. Very useful. Lastly, we have the option to click and drag. So with the split view open here, I can click a different tab. And then when I drag it into this area, I can either create a new split view. So if I let go of my mouse, it would create a third split view, or I can override a current split view like so. Wonderful. Now that we know how to create a split view, let's make sure we know how to use them. Each tab in the split view has the this three dots option and we have the option to separate tab from split so if I click this it will remove it from the split and make it its own tab we can also close the tab and we can add a right split if we want to switch the order of the splits we can do that with this icon just click and drag and lastly we can manage the extensions that are active on any particular split it's also important to note that there is one tab that is active on any particular split view the active tab is going to be what replies to inputs on the keyboard so if I type here we're great but if I activate this tab by clicking it and type obviously the notes are not going to type there so i'd have to either click it again or i can change which tab is active by holding Control, shift and then open or close bracket as you see here based on the little highlighting ring around the top we'll know which tab is active so for those of you who love using keyboard shortcuts like me say i am typing on here and i want to close this tab i'll just hit Control, shift bracket it will shift the active tab to here i did not click and then i can hit command w to close it and then also pro tip here if you hit command shift T, it will reopen a tab that you maybe accidentally closed. Now let's say we're done with our notes and we want to actually navigate to a different site, say YouTube. Naturally, what you might want to do is hit command T, go to YouTube. But as you see here, it opens in a brand new tab. And then we'd have to open the sidebar and then click and drag into the split view. And it would just be too much work. Instead, what we could do is make the tab we want to shift out active. So let's say I'm done with the Google Doc. I just click into here and then I'll hit command L. Command L will change the current URL. So I can type in YouTube and it will change the URL of the current tab instead of opening a new one. One final tip here, if we right click, we can convert to vertical split view. This will just make things up and down. And if we don't like that, which I personally don't think I'll ever use, but we can just convert it back to horizontal. And that about does it for split views inside of Arc. Let me know if you have any questions below. Hope this helps as always. And please subscribe if you enjoyed this, more tutorials to come and have a great day. Peace.